How much has this year hurt, Toto? Uh, hurt? Not at all. I think uh, I've been through moments in my life that hurt. Um, um, this one is more a um, an annoyance, you can say, but annoyance in a in, not in a way that that somebody else is responsible for us not performing. It's an annoyance uh, on myself, um, and it's an annoyance in, on all of us in the team that we took decisions that that were simply wrong. Most importantly, the amount of pressure you exercise uh, into an organization that is under pressure from themselves already. And I think there is more to write in the book um, f- from this year's learning than it is from the from the last last eight years. Susie. What has Toto been like to live with this year? Actually, just the same. I mean, we we, we never took the success for granted. I mean, there were times um, over, obviously, the last eight years where it was more difficult, but there was a lot of times where the car was dominant and, obviously, the success was was huge. But we always very much appreciated um, when when the success was there. And we also, maybe me more than Toto, I... I could see how they were all going after Mercedes. And, and that was clear, probably for the health of the sport. It was also important for them not to be winning everything. And we always knew that, the, you know, we were always respected the competition. And we always knew that maybe it's it, the day's going to come where it's not as easy. So I think actually having had the challenge at the very beginning of the year, seeing that the car wasn't quick enough, it, it somehow, I wouldn't like to say invigorated Toto because that's, um, let's say, given the connotation that he wasn't invigorated before, but you know, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. It's it's she's super supportive because it's twenty three races this year. It's going to be twenty four uh, next year. We're trying to keep a certain normality in our schedule. Uh, we we travel together. I try to have the motor home wherever I am, or the same hotel room to every place I go. I have my traveling assistant Hannah and Julia that come with me. The same driver at every location. Um, I eat the same food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I never change it um, wherever I am. And uh, this gives me a certain frame or a certain stability um, that wherever I am becomes actually re- less relevant because the setup is landing, car and driver, hotel, to the track. Um, sometimes it's just a jet lag that is something you need to cope with. But definitely it's, it's all about coming home at the earliest after the debriefing on Sunday, I'm really looking forward to see Susie um, and and the kids. There's nothing better than than coming home. Mm-hmm.